So I've got this uh, classic Cutler Hammer uh, ball switch here. These are pretty desirable for people who are looking to do period restorations. This is original on this uh, Delta Shaper that I'm working on here uh, from the 1950s. And um, I'm just going to open it up. Uh, it's worked somewhat in my test runs, but um, it seems like when I click the switch, uh, sometimes I hear that click and sometimes it's sort of a muddy thud. So I just think I just need to clean it out. So I'm going to open it up with some screws on the back and we'll see what we can find in here. So I'm just removing the screws from the back here. I just clamped it in a vise to help hold it. Okay, so I was able to get the switch apart. Um, these screws from the back thread all the way through to this front plate. They were very hard to get though. They were stuck. I almost stripped those uh, slotted heads, but we got it apart. Uh, and then here we've got a bunch of the internals as you can see here. Um, these copper pieces where you uh, make your connections. And then these contacts connect to these contacts here. And these are definitely uh, so it shows signs of wear and use. So I'm going to try to clean these up carefully and uh, see if uh, we can make this as good as possible. And here's the spring. Um, so we'll see what we can do here. Okay, so everything cleaned up good. The main thing I was concerned about are the contacts here. These were very grimed up, a lot of carbon build up and felt it's almost sticky. I don't know if at some point it shot some WD-40 in there or something to try to keep the contacts working. And then same thing with these, uh, we cleaned up those well. So I'm going to try to reassemble everything and see if uh, I can get that better click and more consistent um, connection. Well, the salvage attempt has failed. This happens sometimes with old stuff, obviously, but um, in taking it all apart, the original screws, um, uh, they got part of it got stuck in the hole here, and uh, it all came apart. Um, and then I found some screws to use to put it all back together and I was going to hacksaw those off um, uh, and was getting it to work somewhat um, but then also this uh, pin here that holds uh, this uh, ball switch in place uh, starting to wear away on this metal here and it's not really lining up it doesn't fully catch all the time in the on position so I'm gonna give up on this um, somebody who's better than me at electrical may be able to salvage it, but it doesn't hold in the on position. The contacts cleaned up good in here, but getting everything realigned and uh, that switch to hold, I'm just, I'm not getting it. So, that happens. Failed. <laughs>